We're right in the middle of the hurricane season. We often hear the term wind shear being thrown around when discussing hurricane forecasts. But what exactly is wind shear, and why do hurricanes not like it? Wind shear, or more specifically, vertical wind shear, is how much the wind changes in speed or direction with height. In other words, if the wind doesn't change very much as you go from the surface up to the upper atmosphere, then we say that there is low wind shear. But if the wind changes a lot with height, which often means the winds are speeding up the higher you go, then we say that there is high wind shear. Unlike thunderstorms over land, which generally appreciates wind shear because it separates the updraft and downdraft of the storm, allowing it to survive longer, hurricanes absolutely hate being disrupted by wind shear. This is because if the wind surrounding the hurricane increases with height, it tends to tilt the vertical structure of a hurricane in the down shear direction and ventilates its vortex bringing in dry air and generally disrupting the heat energy that it's building up from the warm ocean to sustain itself. A good example of a hurricane weakening due to wind shear is the recent case of Hurricane Kiko approaching Hawaii. In this satellite animation, you can clearly see how the increasing winds out of the southwest tilted the vortex so much that the bottom part of the circulation became visible as the higher clouds blew off to the northeast. This is what tropical meteorologists somewhat gruesomely call decapitation. So the amount of vertical wind shear is one of the conditions that meteorologists look for when forecasting the intensity of tropical cyclones and hurricanes.